representing the Sydney Uni Flames, returning most valuable player of the league, 2007-08. She spent some time in Europe. Natalie Porter, welcome back to the WNBL. Oh, thanks. It's great to be back. Back with the Flames? Yes, yeah, back in Sydney, which has been good. Uh, back with KD, you didn't want to look around other clubs, you're certainly very happy there at the Flames, had success. Yeah, yeah, I had an enjoyable time, you know, my last three seasons there, so why not come back? And tell us, what was it like in Italy? Yeah, it was a good experience, tough competition over there. Um, obviously training twice a day is fairly taxing on the body, but um, we played two games a week, which was good. Um, learned a lot over there and, and enjoyed the food and enjoyed the culture. And yeah, but happy to be home in Australia and enjoying a summer. How's your Italian? Uh, not very good. I can order coffee, that's about it. <laughs> Isn't that cappuccino? Yeah. <laughs> no, in cafe. In cafe. <laughs> I probably didn't even say that right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a little French. That's it. And you're in Parma. What sort of city is Parma like? Yeah, it's um, basically where all the prosciutto in the world comes from. Oh, so nice. um, it's very well known for all of its food um, and wine. So, yeah, we had a very joyous time over there, us three Aussies. Um, it's a small town. And, yeah, that's basically all there is to know about it. <laughs> now, you certainly didn't come back from there a big roly-poly. You're, in, you're, you're quite small, <laughs> looking good up top, but uh, nice and fit. Uh, you're in good shape for the season? Yeah, very good shape for the season. Um, yeah, I've been working hard in the, in the pre-season and looking after my diet and training and everything. And, yeah, I feel very good, ready to go. Let's talk about the Flames and the personnel that you're going with this year. You've lost your good mate and teammate. Your Athens Olympic teammate, if yes. I'm right, Alicia Poto, she's gone off uh, to play in Russia. That's a bit of a loss. What are you going to do at the point guard position? Yeah, it's very different not having Potsy there, the uh, little long court general. But um, I think we've replaced her very well with Dee Butler. Um, she provides a lot of experience. She's, I guess, a veteran, as you would call her, at 28 years old. Mm -hmm. But um, she's fitted in really well um, into that point spot and is just a pure leader. So she's doing well. And what about the rest of the team? Who's going to be in uh, the two? Who's going to be reserve point guard? Reserve point guard. Well, we've got a couple of um, girls from last season, Jamie Kennedy and Rachel Watman. Yep. Um, so they're back in there in, in really good form, um, training hard against each other. So they can fit into the role. Plus, we've got obviously Docky Smith is is, is in, um, and she can bring the ball down the court um, along with Tanner Michaela Donkins. Um, she's back, and then you look at the uh, the big timber inside, and we've we've signed Susie. So it's uh, it's great to be playing again with Susie. We haven't played together for many many years, but um, I'm really looking forward to to going hard inside with her. Talking about Beijing Olympian Susie Batkovic there, or now Susie Batkovic Brown after getting married. <laughs> Did you see the results that she had? Uh, from her time in the WNBA in the finals. Yeah, she killed it. She played probably the best she did all season. Um, I think that came down to actually being giving some, given some court time and she proved what she can do. So um, that, that's great for us. She's coming in with some good form and um, I have no doubt that she's going to dominate this season. Still got Rach Herrick there in the centre position as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. Rach and Kira are still there. So they've been working hard in the uh, in the pre-season and we've also signed Ellie Manu from um, Oregon. Very nice. And she's, she's going to be a really good a good player. She's tough, she's strong, she's quick. Um, yeah, so this would be great to learn off some really good inside players. You would have played against Ellie when she was with the AIS, right? I did, yeah, and she trained with the Flames before she went away to college. So, yeah, it's good to see her back and she's working hard. You uh, you ran out, you put out some names there quite quickly, but let's go back to a couple. Uh, Deanna Smith coming in from Perth. Uh, that puts uh, Flames <laughs> points up by something quite some per game, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. I'm not sure that she finished. I think she finished maybe on the top or couple of top three for scoring last season. Put me on the spot there. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, yeah, she's slotted in really well and Docky's a great player. She's can not only shoot the ball, but she's a great passer as well. So um, it's going to be nice to uh, have that option if we're getting double teamed on the inside to kick it out and have her knock down the three. Nice. And Michaela Dompkins as well, coming back to the flame. She wasn't there last season. Coach must be absolutely over the moon to have her back. Yeah, yeah. Mickey's fitted in pretty well. She's fit and healthy and ready to... Uh, ready to go and, and kick some butt, I think. Tell me, is it going to be Sydney Uni Flames in the grand final? I would like to say yes, definitely. Um, that's our goal, is to win the championship, not just get to the grand final, is to win the championship. And, um, you know, I think we've definitely got the team on paper to do that. Um, just hopefully we can come together, have that chemistry and get it done this year. And who will be the most valuable player of the 2009-10 season? Will it be Maddie P? <laughs> Oh, look, I don't want to uh, say that, jinx myself, but um, 
You know, I think there's been a lot of talk about Liz Cambridge coming into the the, the, the league and playing under Tom Maher. I think that um, I'll, I'll put my bets on her for the, the league MVP. There you heard it from us. Five good minutes with Natalie Porter. Welcome back to the WNBR. Cheers.